So the iPhone 7 Plus is one of those iPhones that has been out for so many years now. So let me go and kind of break down exactly how this iPhone kind of holds up in the later part of 2023. Now, to be honest, because this iPhone is so old, not, you know, too many things have changed this particular year. But to be honest, there are a few things that are kind of probably worthwhile to kind of talk about. The big thing here and the biggest change is that this iPhone is still kind of getting software updates, which is genuinely insane. This iPhone came out in 2016. It stopped getting software support technically the last year when iOS 16 came out, but it still continued to get security updates for so many years later, kind of like we're coming into 2025, I'm sure it's still going to be supported there. So it's actually genuinely insane how good of a device this thing is from that perspective, like still getting security updates. But to say, I'm going to be honest, I would not recommend buying this iPhone. It's genuinely not worth buying at all. So keep that in mind in the back of your head. On the body front, not really too much has changed here either. You're still getting that 5.5 inch IPS panel, bezel on the top and bottom, touch ID sensor, lightning port. This is the first iPhone to remove that headphone jack. So that was kind of one thing to keep in mind too. And on the back, you had that standard aluminum back and jet black version that I personally had back in 2017. And for those of you who watched my videos back in 2017, you may know that I loved that iPhone in every video. I don't think anybody's watching this video that, you know, watched back in the day, to be honest, but I love that iPhone so much. And anytime I get to talk about this iPhone, I love it. I even compare this thing against the iPhone 15 and there's still a lot of overlap here. Of course, the 15 is so much better, but you can definitely tell, like if you're looking at a 7 Plus and a 15, you can tell there was a lot of overlap, to be honest. Now, some big things to keep in mind, this is an outdated body. The camera is not that good. It's not really getting software updates, and there's no future above, you know, from this specific iPhone starting from this point. It's kind of a big thing to keep in mind. If you're wanting a newer iPhone with newer features, this is kind of, I mean, this is really like not it. This is not going to be getting any new features. It's already outdated. And that is the problem that you're getting when you're getting a device like this. But to be honest, the performance of this iPhone isn't terrible. That Apple A10 Fusion chip with three gigabytes of RAM, the first iPhone to bring three, were really like decent. It's not really that terrible, which is pretty impressive. But like I said, if you're wanting an iPhone that is still kind of having a future ahead of it, this is not going to be it, and that's probably going to be the problem with it. I will say though, some standout things with this particular phone. For one, you're still kind of getting software updates, which I think is a pretty big thing. With an iOS 15.7 point whatever, you're actually getting a fairly, I would say a robust version of iOS 15. The best version of iOS 15 is on the 7 Plus because this was the cutoff point. So because of that, you're getting a device that pretty much still kind of has a future ahead of it from a security update standpoint, but it's a very small future. Like I'm talking about months, not years here. So because of that, what are you going to do? You know, you're going to buy this iPhone and then within a year from now, you're going to like get a new one. The only reason I would even recommend using the iPhone 7 Plus right now is if you currently own it. I would not go and pursue something like a 7 Plus. I would not go out and try to purchase it. Even in the used market, even you get it for like $50 or $40, it's just not worth it. The reason for it is because it's no longer getting security updates. It's, I mean, it's not really getting software updates. Some security updates is nice, but it's not giving you even the most secure version of iOS. Apple made a statement last year or two years ago that if you want the most secure version of iOS, even if you're getting rapid security responses, that's only going to be available on the current version of iOS, the major one, not like a year or two behind. So what I'll tell you, the iPhone 7 Plus isn't really worth buying anymore. I don't think it's worth buying. I don't think it was worth buying even last year, to be honest. If you're currently using it, then go for it. But I would just probably recommend avoid buying this iPhone, in my opinion. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.